Southampton, hello. Steve, hi. It, it, it was marvellous. People, people would accuse us of being cynical, uh, sometimes rowdy and heckling throughout the show. I, be, I believe it was Alavash Nichols who said uh, Restoration Theatre was essentially written by Charles' courtiers for his courtiers. It, was, it is a vibrant, colourful, uh, sometimes brutal and bawdy place. Uh, as an audience we were notoriously ill-behaved, some people possibly often more interested in the drama of their own lives rather than the, the lives on stage. Uh, the theatre was no place for the average citizen. It, uh, indeed, the playwrights often ridiculed them, and I, I appreciated the fact that the, the lower classes were driven out of the theatre. Most certainly, yes. Uh, seeing as most of the lower classes couldn't afford to see the theatre, it certainly uh, it made more of a it made it more exclusive and uh, welcomed a better class of people, which uh, resulted in a more vibrant and uh, positive atmosphere. Prostitutes in the galleries is certainly an aspect of the theatre that I miss. It, it certainly added to the party-like atmosphere of the of the theatre back then. Though. I guess a story that sums up the essence of that era is, is one from Henry Peacham's book, The Art of Living in London, where a wife has gone to the theatre without her husband and, and her purse has been stolen from her under her petticoat. The husband asks her, did she not feel someone reaching in there? Then she replies, yes, I had felt one's hand there, but I, I didn't believe it would come for that. Uh, again, most certainly, I, I only wish that there were as many theatre companies around back then as, as there are now. Un un unfortunately, back then we only had the, the original Duke's players and the original King's players, the two main ones there. There, there was a great rivalry, yes, mainly because there was just the two companies. They, they were both desperately trying to outdo each other with their performances. They would battle for the rights uh, to the previous successful Jacobean plays as well as trying to secure the, the finest actors of that era, such as uh, Thomas Peterson, who was an uh, actor very much in demand. At first, uh, the, there was complete and utter uproar. People, people weren't happy about it, the news at all, because at the time, we considered women vastly inferior. We, we weren't used to seeing them as the centre of attention before, never mind uh, on the stage performing. Um, I would say, however, the real turning point for the gentleman was seeing real women playing the parts in physical seduction scenes. That's why a lot of the male audience took more interest in the plays and playwrights started producing a lot more plays of a sexual nature during that period. Uh, riff Raff. Riff Raff. <laughs> 